Open Heavens Daily Devotional. Wednesday, February 15, 2023. Topic. You are above demons. Memorize. Ephesians 1:21. Far above all principality, and power, and might, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Bible Reading. Ephesians 1 18-21. 18. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who are to believe, according to the working of his mighty power. 20. Which he wrought in Christ, when he raised him from the dead, and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. 21. Far above all principality, and power, and might, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Message. Our Bible reading for today says that Jesus is seated above all principalities and powers, if you are a child of God, you are part of the body of Christ and the body of Christ includes his feet. The biggest demon is under the feet of Jesus, you are therefore above the biggest demon. In John 14 13. Jesus said that if we ask for anything we want in his name, he would do it, that the Father may be glorified in him. Philippians 2 9-11 says that he has a name that is above every other, that at his name, all knees should bow, whether those in heaven, on earth or underneath the earth. Mark 16 17 says, And these signs shall follow them that believe, in my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues. When you cast out demons in Jesus' name, they will flee, if you are truly born again. You must note however, that there are two types of demon, possessed people, unwilling victims, possessed by demons against their wish and desiring deliverance, and the willing. It is easy to deliver the unwilling because the host is in agreement with you to cast out the demon. For the willing victims however, they don't want to be delivered and you cannot force them. The only thing you can do is to find a way to convince the fellow to seek deliverance. One day, a man came to my office with his wife and said, Daddy, my wife is a witch, please help me. The woman retorted, Don't mind him, it is his mother who is a witch. I responded, No problem. I will pray a prayer that if you are not a witch, then you would just keep prospering, but if you are truly one, then I will bind that demon inside you so that it won't be able to go out. She said, go ahead and pray the prayer. I prayed and they left. One month later, her husband brought her back to me, this time, she was all swollen, because the demon in her was trapped in her body. By then, she was ready to be delivered. Take charge over every demon in your vicinity because as a child of God, you have the power to do so. Prayer point. I command every demon around me to vacate their habitation now, in Jesus' name. Don't forget to share today's message with your loved ones via WhatsApp and Facebook. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of Open Heaven Daily Devotional every morning.